Hi guys, so I'm a professional makeup artist and I would just like to take you guys in the day in the life of a professional makeup artist who is also attending a wedding as a guest. So this wedding was a two part special and I was booked for both day one and day two. This is day two and I start off by just setting up my station which includes my beauty or skincare setup as well as my makeup setup. So I set up my station in a way that will make sense to me. And and it will make it easier for me to get things and just get stuff within my reach. Also, this helps because whenever I'm working, the client will see that I know what I'm doing. I'm not thinking what I want to get. So I just go ahead and grab it. This just makes you look more professional. So as soon as I'm done setting up, I prepare some warm water and then I start with my cleansing routine. So this cleansing routine is just to help prep the skin because you know that you can't do makeup on unclean or unhealthy or unprepped skin. So it consists of just doing a gel cleanse, um, a foam cleanse. Um, it's actually a double cleanse and then I do a mask. I rinse and also moisturize and tone and I apply SPF. Make sure that you get SPF that doesn't um, give you white cast or flashback. So the purpose of this um, cleansing routine is just to give the bride that aesthetically pleasing moment in her whole day just to give her that spa sensation just to make her feel like the princess that she is. I know that this is a rushed video but if you guys want a detailed tutorial on how I do my skincare videos on my clients please be sure to let me know on the comment section and I will definitely drop a video for you. So when I'm done exfoliating and cleansing my client's skin I take my two sponges and then I rinse off any excess dirt that is there and then I go ahead and go in with the mask so this is a hydrating mask because my client skin did feel a little bit dry and I just use a jade roller just to press in the nutrients and then I take all the excess and I massage it into her skin guys let me tell you her skin was feeling so fresh and just firm after this so I highly recommend this moving on to the next step which was the hair and I kind of felt ambushed with doing the hair because my clients didn't have anyone to do her hair and I just offered myself. But this also helped me because it was my first time installing a wig. And as much as I was just trying, I made her feel confident in me and I reassured her that everything was going to be fine. And it gave me like a learning curve because it also taught me to always have hair or wig installation um, supplies in my kit. Another important factor when you're doing bridal makeup is having a relationship with the photographer or videography crew. I was fortunate enough to meet um, the crew from Golden Empire 104 and they were very good. They were just so friendly and we were able to negotiate the settings or the environment that we wanted for our makeup and camera and lighting and everything. Um, so we discussed factors like we want a quiet room, um, not too much commotion and with ample lighting, a clean face, just clean shots. So you need to talk about that. You need to discuss that with the bride and the photographer. It is actually advised that you have the photographer's number so that you guys can have um, a better relationship, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> But then we'll move on to our next factor or our next point or our next thing that I learned. So if you're, you're booked as a makeup artist, you need to observe where you're working. Firstly, be on time. And then when you've observed where you're working, you need to stay calm um, given the situation that you're working in. So this bride has a very huge family and they kept going in and out so i was able to just manage my temper and just be cool and stay chatting and be friendly but sometimes you have to ask them but ask them nicely to just step out of the room or if they're blocking your lighting you have to like ask them nicely and because the camera guy was a bit shy i had to do all the talking he would only communicate with me because at some point he was like um you kind of blocked the lights from me so i really Realize that sometimes if I don't see the light properly he is also not seeing the light properly so that means he's not getting good quality photos or videos so I also had to like arrange that for him okay another step that I want you guys to know 
it's actually the last step um when you're doing a client's makeup just make sure that they're comfortable and they have everything they need and also be prepared that you're gonna have more people wanting to do makeup from you okay this is actually not the last step so when i was doing the bride's makeup a lady came in and asked me to do her makeup as well so this is why it's important to have um various shades and various brushes extra brushes extra lashes extra stuff so that when someone asks you to work on them as well you don't have a problem okay moving on to another step um, or another lesson always have press-ons in your kit or nail stuff or nail polish because also my clients didn't have anyone to do her nails she didn't get time to do her nails and the time to complain and say why didn't you get your nails done is like it's useless to say that so just always have press-ons and a hair kit on your kit so that you can be ready for whatever it happens also some people have sewing kits so that if a dress snaps but if you're a makeup artist just know that you're a superhero basically so the last step is making sure that your client is happy with their makeup after i'm done doing all my clients makeup i take a mirror and i show them the makeup and whenever they want me to add something i actually got happy because i don't like it when i do someone's makeup and they're like oh no it's beautiful it's perfect make me add something like tell me what i need to add more blush more lipstick and in this case the bride did want more lipstick all the time like all the time she wanted her lips pinker okay lastly i promise this is the last lesson if you're gonna be attending the wedding or even if you're not make sure that your client reads your contract properly and agrees to, for you to either give them a touch-up kit or stay for the events and you're gonna charge them hourly or depending on how long you're gonna be staying and your prices so in this instance the wedding started a bit late okay not even a bit we're black so it obviously started a lot late so the bride needed me to um do a touch-up for her before they went into the church or where they were gonna do the matrimonial and you need to study the climate of where you're going to be doing that event because she was sweating. In her case, it was sweat, so she needed to do a bit of touch-ups. And you need to advise your client to pat her makeup instead of swiping. And then when she needed to change again for her second outfit, I had to come back and give her a touch-up. So you're going to either offer a touch-up kit, which includes a little bit of a powder puff, a lipstick or a lip gloss here and there, and some powder. Or you're just going to come with your kids and just attend the wedding and be there whenever she needs you with that being said that is it from me and i hope that these tips were helpful i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you want more tips do not forget to subscribe like share my video and drop a comment and let me know what you want to see in the next video and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever my awesome videos come up from everything spare i am signing out and i'll see you guys on the next video i love you so much and thank you for the support bye